We will be using a CPO 315 HFA automatic cold saw cutting inch and three quarter 065 wall tubing. Right, we're going to set up and cut a couple different lengths. Um, I'm going to set the first length to four inches. So I just line up my pointer on the scale. Tighten down the stop. Next we'll set our vise. Put the material in. Adjust the main vise until it's against your material. Power back up, about two more clicks tight. Set our indexing vise. Now we will set our counter, number of parts that we want. Each button underneath the uh, digit shows how many pieces that we are going to do. Uh, so you can set whatever amount you want there. Now we're going to trim the end off of our piece of tubing so we got a nice clean end to start with so we know where our, our end is for reference. Then we'll cut one part. So turn saw motor on, coolant pump on, have your saw in the manual position, get your trim test cycle, start. I'm adjusting the flow control valve. This is, uh, determines how fast your head travels down through the material as you're making the cut. I will adjust my saw head RPM. It's adjustable from 11 RPM to 177 RPM with a variable speed drive. per click, so I'll make it about four thousandths longer. Look where you want it to be, then go to auto, hit cycle, index the vice, grab your part, index it up to the main vice, and cut your length. Continue to cut the parts until your part length or part count is complete, then it will all shut off. Okay, now we're going to set up on 21 inches. Pump on, set, set your part counter on manual trim test. one way or the other. And again, we'll use a fine adjustment knob. We'll go to auto, hit cycle, we'll automatically feed the rest of the tube, cut it up to 21 inch length until your, your number is met on your parts counter or until the 